Jungle Book. Uh, it was a good movie. I saw that the cartoon when I was uh, a kid a long time ago, many, many moons ago. And of course, you know, I read the book. It was a good story, you know, with Mowgli trying to survive, uh, a la Tarzan type deal, but more for kids. And uh, they did the live action reenactment and I gotta say, I think it was probably even better than the original cartoon or uh, the book. Shere Khan is a beast that in this movie is a beast. He was good. Uh, Adris Elba plays Shere Khan and I'm not certain that I've seen a better performance and he's not even on screen so you know he's not taking his shirt off for the women and all that kind of good stuff he's like just acting and it was it was good he was scary you know he plays a large tiger that really really wants to eat Mowgli the 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 the, um, the man cub the boy um, Mowgli's played by Neil Sethi, who, the way I understand it, this is his first acting gig, and he knocked it out of the part too. I mean, he, he's he's good. He reminded me a lot of the uh, of the book. Um, then there's Baloo. Baloo the bear is played by Bill Murray, and Bill Murray uh, lately hasn't lately hasn't been um, what I would say on top of his game he's not like the 80s Bill Murray but in this in this movie he was he was back to his self again it was like he woke up and said oh, I think I'll be great again and he was he was really really good um, he's going after the honey that's one of the funny parts um, but you'll see that in the movie. Uh, Bagheera, the the Black Panther, is played by uh, Ben Kingsley. A lot of a lot of Brits in this show. There's a lot of Brits in the cartoon too. But um, plays um, Bagheera, and he does a does a great job. He's the uh, the, the the conscience. And the advisor, the adult in the movie. Um, I have a thing about snakes. Snakes terrify me. You know what? Terrify is not the right word. I think I want to say snakes give me pause. Yeah, I like that better. Snakes give me pause. And um, Ka is played by Scarlett Johansson and Scarlett. Ka is the giant anaconda that catches Mowgli. And I mean, the, the entire movie was great, but for me, this one scene was like, oh, oh, oh. You know? <laughs> because I don't dig snakes, man. And she's talking to him and she's like, trust in me. And I know what's going to happen because I remember the cartoon. And in the cartoon, I don't feel like I'm giving away any spoilers because, you know, the cartoon's like older than my mom probably. But the um, the movie, um, I saw in the cartoon, I knew it was going to happen. You know, she tries to eat him. So when she's like, you know, trust in me, I'll keep you. I know a way you can stay in the jungle. And I'm like, no, don't do it because you're going to be inside of her. Don't do it, man. And he's mesmerized and he's like, you know, dizzy. 
and her head is like that freaking big. It's like the width of his body. So I'm like, she can eat him. And I'm like, she can eat him um, whole. And she's talking to him and she tells him a story. And while she's telling him this story, I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, no, man, no. Um, and what I was thinking happened, happened. When he, you know, when the story is over, she's circled around him. She's got him, man. Um, but he gets rescued by someone else. So Ka does not eat him, which was kind of cool. It would probably be pretty much the end of the movie. But um, King Louis is probably you know one of the top three best characters in this show king louis is played by christopher walken and he, you know christopher walken has a voice he's got this voice and uh you know you just know it you recognize his voice eat the fruit uh, have some of the fruit and he talks like uh an older mob guy you know that it's like making deli sandwiches. For some reason, that's what I, I envision when he talks. A mob guy that's retired and making deli sandwiches now. I don't know what that's about, but that's what I hear when he talks. And he's um, he, he's not an orangutan like the TV show, like the movie, the, you know, the cartoon. He is Gigantopithecus, which is the, you know, the prehistoric ape. He is gigantic. He's enormous. He's... Ten times bigger than the rest of the apes. He's King Kong. And um, he sings the song, man. I was hoping that they would sing it, and he sings the song. And that's kind of cool. They got a couple of songs in there from the, from the cartoon. How could you do the movie without a couple of the songs? They throw back, right? And it's good. And But, I mean, you know, the main thing about the movie is Shere Khan is, is out for revenge. The whole movie is basically about revenge. Shere Khan wants revenge. He wants to kill the man cub. And he will slaughter anybody that gets in his way to get the man cub, man. So, you know, everything else that everybody does in the movie is basically dictated by Shere Khan's rage and need for revenge. You're like, hey, we gotta get Mowgli. You know, we gotta defend Mowgli. Why? Because Shere Khan's tripping. Nah, we gotta get Mowgli out of here, man. Why? Because Shere Khan's tripping. You know, um, you could stay with me. It's not safe in the jungle. Why is it not safe? Because Shere Khan is tripping. And again, Idris Elba did a great job. I mean, it was when Shere Khan shows up, you know, it's one of those hide your face with the popcorn type thing. Speaking of that, um, if you bring a small child here to the movies, shame on you. Because this movie is, it, I mean, kids could watch it, but it's not really for little kids. It's got stuff jumping out. It's got like things are getting killed and people are, you know, stuff's getting eaten. You know, it's, it's. It's the jungle, baby. So be sure that you're going to bring kids. Make sure they can handle it because I doubt that most can. But the, um, the Jungle Book, great movie. Great movie. Um, hopefully my next review will be Captain America Civil War. We shall see. Um, but as always, if you like the video, please... Subscribe right here and then hit like or don't. Popcorn passport.